the 2019 novel coronavirus that originated from Wuhan, uh, China province. So currently to date, as of February 3rd, 2020, we currently have 11 cases in the United States. Currently, our government, our CDC, is containing the situation. And as of yesterday, February the 2nd, 2020, our president has um, also announced that no more foreign travelers from China will be allowed to enter the United States. And this is to prevent any further spread of the virus within the United States. The current level to our general public right now is still considered low by the CDC. So we do have to take precautions, but it is nothing really to panic about. So as of now, we do want to make sure all of our members are aware that there is a current outbreak of the 2019 novel coronavirus going on globally. And we do want you to be aware of it here in the United States and not so much to panic or be anxious over, but really to be aware and to practice good preventive measures. Next, I would like to talk about how can we practice good habits of preventing diseases from spreading. And uh, currently, it is also the flu, se flu season for all of us. So I would love to remind everybody, please make sure you go get your flu vaccine. Have, if you have not gotten your flu vaccine as of yet, please make sure to go see your doctor and schedule next appointment or go to the pharmacy and get your flu shot. Every year we have a lot of people who die from just the flu. So I do want to remind all of our members at Ally Pacific to make sure you get your flu vaccine. So it's very difficult to tell what's the flu, what's from a common cold. So I want to, I want to make sure all of you get uh, the preventive care you possibly can uh, to keep yourself healthy and safe. Having said that, if you have symptoms of a cold or a flu, uh, I, there are certain things that you can practice and make sure you keep yourself safe and keep your loved ones safe as well. So I would like to start with basic, simple hygiene. The most important thing you can do when you have the cold or flu is to make sure you wash your hands. And the reason why we need to wash our hands is most of the time we have the habit of covering our mouth when we cough or sneeze or when we have a runny nose, we use our hands to wipe. So most of the time, the con most contaminated part of our body is usually our hands. So to prevent the spread of germs, viruses, bacteria, it is best to practice good hand washing. How do you wash your hands? Well, the best way to wash your hands is with running water and soap, just plain old soap and running water. You don't need antibacterial or any uh, special type of soap, just regular hand soap and running water. And make sure you wash your hands thoroughly. I usually recommend you wash up to your wrist, if not just slightly above your wrist. Make sure you wash under running water for 20 seconds or more. So the, the duration of the wash is very important. So once you've washed your hands, make sure you clean and dry them. And if you are sick or ill, and you do want to prevent the spread of any germs, make sure you have your own towel. Do not share your towel. So once you've contaminated anything, it's easy to spread that, those germs to somebody else. So having said that, I would like to move on to talking about sharing. I, I understand we all love to share things, especially with our loved ones, family, friends. But if you're ill and during this time where there is a spread of germs, I recommend you do not share any utensils. So if you are eating out together, please don't share utensils. Please don't share cups, drinks, food. Do not share. Um, make sure you, you practice this so you don't spread germs or you don't get germs from somebody else. At home, if you're using towels in a bathroom, make sure you have your individual towels for, for everybody. And if you are co-sleeping uh, in a bed, make sure you also do not share pillows because uh, that's something also an often an object that can be easily contaminated as well. The most common way to transmit a virus or common cold or flu is usually through air droplets, which comes usually from our mouth or from our nose. So when you cough, when you need to cough, make sure you cover your cough typically with your sleeve or with a throwaway tissue paper. And the reason why we want to be able to throw that away is if you use a handkerchief, you reuse that, you usually can spread that to somebody else or you're just basically infecting yourself over and over again. But if you use a tissue paper after you've used it, 
go ahead and throw it away, and once again, practice good hand washing techniques. We've talked a lot about hand washing. If you cannot get access to running water and soap, the next best thing you can use is an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. It must have alcohol, and the CDC recommends 60% or higher of alcohol concentration in order to be effective. So if you are out and about, uh, go ahead and carry a good hand sanitizer with 60% or more alcohol in it, and use that in lieu of water and soap. During this time where viruses are spreading, if you are sick and you have symptoms, uh, we recommend that you stay home, stay home from work, stay home from school, if you have the ability to separate yourself from your loved ones, like sleeping in a separate room, we definitely recommend that, at least for the next 14 days where the symptoms are most active. So if you can isolate yourself, keep yourself from getting infected by another germ, and also prevent the spread of germ to someone you love. Right now, we, the CDC also recommends no travel to China. So if you have unnecessary travels to China currently, we highly recommend that you do not travel to China just so you can protect yourself and you can also protect others. The CDC does not recommend the general public to use a mask. Unless you yourself are currently sick with symptoms, then you can go ahead and wear a mask for yourself to prevent the spread of the common cold or flu. But as far as the 2019 novel coronavirus, the CDC does not recommend the general public to, to wear a mask because currently the risk, of, uh, the risk of getting the coronavirus in the United States is still considered low per the CDC. And also, some of you may be wondering, how can I get tested to see if I have the coronavirus? Well, currently the situation is only the government has the ability to test for the novel 2019 coronavirus. So unless you have a couple criteria, even the government will not test you for this virus. And what are the, the criteria? Well, let me give you three things that any healthcare worker will ask you if you have uh, symptoms and you are concerned about the coronavirus. The first question is, in the last past 14 days, have you personally traveled from China? That's question number one. Question number two is, in the last 14 days, have you been in contact with somebody who has traveled from China or is currently under investigation for a potential infection of the coronavirus? And Finally, the last question, third question is, do you have symptoms of this virus? So the common symptoms are cough, shortness of breath, and a fever of 100.4 or higher, or 38 degrees Celsius. If you do not answer positive to two of these questions, then no healthcare worker uh, or system currently will be able to test you for the coronavirus because those are the criteria set forth uh, by the CDC in order to be tested. So these are some of the updates. I know the situation changes very quickly, and as we get more information, we will provide to you uh, the best we possibly can. But from Ally Pacific, we truly, our hearts go out to all of those who have uh, been ill from this coronavirus. Our hearts go out to the people of China. Our prayers are are for all of them, for all of those who have contracted, we pray for a quick recovery. And for the families who have a sustained loss, uh, we are true condolences and we will continue to pray for all of you. Thank you very much.